When rounding a number off to one significant figure, basically all you need to do is round it one number from the start of the number. So in this example here of 827, um, we're going to put a line in one number from the start. So we're either going to leave it as 8 if we round down or round it up to 9. All you need to do is look at the next digit to this side. The next digit is a 2. So that means we round it down because it's less than 5. So we leave it as 8. All we need to do now is fill in zeros for the remaining digits. So our final answer is 800. Let's go over another example. This time let's do 5184.25. So again, round it off to one significant figure. So we cut it off one number after the start of the number. So we're either going to leave it as five or round it up to six. Look at the next digit to this side. Since the next digit is below five again, we're going to leave it the same as five. All we need to do now is fill in zeros up to the decimal point. So our answer is 5,000. Let's do another one. So let's go with 475.26. So again, if you round it to one significant figure, cut it off one number from the start. So we're either going to round it down to 4 or round it up to 5. Um, this time the number after the line is 5 or above. So we need to round the number up. So it'll be 5 and then fill in zeros up to the decimal point. Let's do another example. This time let's go with 77.48. So again, round it off to one significant figure. It means we want one number from the start of the number. So we cut it off there. So we're either going to round it down to 7 or round it up to 8. Uh, since the number after the line is also 7, that's 5 or above, so it's closer to 8. And then fill in zeros for the remaining digits up to the decimal point, so we get the answer 80. Let's do one last example. Uh, this time we've got 0 0.004751. This time we have a number between 0 and 1. With these ones you need to be careful. Um, your first significant figure wouldn't be here this time. It's going to be here. All right. So it's the first number from the start, but if you have zeros at the beginning, you don't count these. So the first significant figure is this one here. So we're either going to leave it as 0 0.004, or round it up to 0 0.005. Well, the number after the line is a 7, so that means we need to round it up because it's 5 or above. So our answer will be 0 0.005. There's no need to fill in any more zeros for these remaining digits because we've already gone past the decimal point.